Apache, Kiowa, Cheyenne. They fought long and hard to hold their hunting ground against the westward push of the white man's frontier till a peace treaty was signed in the 1870s in Kansas. But there was no peace in Dodge City. Outlaws and gunfighters took up where the Indians left off and turned that trail town into a battleground. Dodge was a rich prize, the center of the buffalo trade, and of the trail for cattle herds driving up from Texas to meet the railroad spur to Abilene. Where trail hands were paid off, where girls and gamblers were there to take it away. Where bad men shot it out with the lawmen. Until at last the law settled down in Dodge, the law was written in bullets from a six-gun in the hand of a man named Masterson. A pair of polished boots on a dusty trail street. One man moving slow, other men moving fast to clear the way. That's how it was that hot July afternoon when Bat Masterson took a walk down Front Street to meet up with Doc Holliday. And folks all knew that only one of them would be walking back. Sure there's no other way to do it, Bat? He didn't drift back into Dodge by accident. When he crosses 2nd Street, he knows I'll be there, waiting for him. Can't be any other way. Well, why don't you wait till my brother gets back? He'd listen to Wyatt. Wyatt Earp's as fine a man as ever wore a badge. But he's got a blind spot, Doc Holliday. Doc ain't done no harm this trip, not yet. Maybe he don't mean to. That's like giving a rattlesnake the first bite. He's a sick man, Virgil. Makes him mad to see anybody healthy. He's a cold-blooded killer. Never killed a man who didn't have a gun in his hand. That's why he's never wound up at the end of a rope. There are plenty of ways to bait a man into a fight, and Holliday knows them all. When you can draw and shoot like he can, it's murder, no matter who draws first. You can't wait to go down there and meet him. That's my job. And it's Wyatt's, too. When he was sheriff, yes. Now Wyatt's a federal marshal and I'm sheriff. That makes Doc Holliday my job. I told Doc what would happen if he ever came back to Dodge. Well, he's back. Doc, you don't know me, Doc, but I'm your friend. I choose my friends and I still don't know you. Sure, Doc, but I ain't no friend of Masterson's either, so I had to tell you, he's coming for you. That'd be news if he wasn't. He'll be waiting to stop you if you try to cross Second Street. Oh, well, I came here to do some gambling. Had some bad luck in Tombstone. I like the cards at the Salamander, and that's the other side of Second Street. Then I hope your luck ain't still bad, Doc. Ain't you superstitious? Only when I'm winning. Don't like to break my luck by killing a man. But when I'm losing... Doc! If you need any help, I can cover you. Hello, Doc. Hello, Sheriff. That's as far as you go, Doc. I don't think so. There's one way to find out. Or you can turn around and go back the way you came. I'd rather not kill you, Doc. Give me three good reasons why you shouldn't kill me, if you can. I'll give you three more steps. Each step you take is one less reason. That's one. And that's two. If either of you reaches for a gun, I'll blast you both. Keep out of this, Wyatt. This is between Doc and me. No, it ain't. I'm not going to watch my two best friends kill each other, even if I have to kill them myself. You're an officer of the law, and you're covering for a killer. I'm covering for the both of you. Besides, I can't afford to take a chance. I need you, Bat. I wouldn't know why, but for your sake, Wyatt, I can postpone killing him a little longer. Half the pleasure is anticipation. Whenever you're ready, Masterson, you can find me in the Salamander Saloon. 
I'll be there. I just want to get one thing straight, boy. I'm sorry to horn in on your party, Bat, but I had a good reason. Well, it better be. I just can't understand how you can put up with him. You saved my life. Oh, I know that. I don't expect you to understand it, and I can't explain it. Because nobody can explain Doc Holliday. He's not so hard to figure. He's a dying man, so he hates the world because it'll go on living after he's gone. And tell me why he threw in with me against a mob of gunslingers when I didn't have a chance of outliving him. You'd rather give odds in a gunfight than play safe and die slow. All I know is when he opened up on my side, I didn't care why. But I guess that's between Doc and me. Look, Wyatt. I'm not going to ease up on him. Not as long as he stays in Dodge City, even for you. I wouldn't expect you to. And I guess you know, Bat, Doc should kill you. The next man I'd have to kill would be me. What do you want me to do? Bring in the man who's wanted for murder. Who is he? Amos Merrick. Merrick, the peacemaker? That's what they call him. He's a man who saves lives. If it wasn't for him, they'd never be able to sign that peace treaty with the Indians. I know. But the soldiers at Fort Dodge say he killed Colonel Daly. What does Merrick say? That's the worst part of it, nothing. His Indian friends think they're protecting him. And Yellow Hawk would start a war if the soldiers went after him. But you're a friend of Yellow Hawk's, and you're the only one that can bring Merrick back to Dodge. I'll get to Merrick. You get to Doc. Because if he's still in town when I get back, you're going to be one friend less. The question is, which one? You say you have come to take your friend Amos Merrick back to the white man's village. But I say you shall not. Your friend, who is our brother, will stay here, safe from the white man's friendship. You know the laws of the white man. Amos Merrick is a white man and must live by those laws, Yellowhawk. This is my village, my land. And here are only the laws of Yellowhawk. These are laws that can be trusted. You will not take Amos Merrick. This is his will. I'd like to hear it from his own lips. Yellowhawk speaks for his brother. I speak for myself. Hello, Mr. Merrick. Hello, Bat. Yellowhawk, many times you've heard me say that it's wrong for me to stay. Now I must go to my people, let them hear the truth from me. When lies are loud, the truth may not be heard. The truth will be heard. You have my word for it. Your words are good. But can you speak for other whites who have accused an innocent man? He'll have a fair trial. If he's innocent, he'll go free. That I promise. You have given your word to keep him safe. Should your word prove false and he dies for it, many whites will die, but you will die first. Dad! Amy! Oh, Dad! Dad! I came just as soon as I could. You shouldn't have come here, honey. You should have stayed in Hutchinson. With you here alone? No, school can get along without me. Thanks, dear. It does feel better being able to talk to you. It seems so hopeless fighting for what I believe is right. Dad, you do believe in what you're fighting for, don't you? Oh, of course, Amy. The Indians are people just like anyone else. They're only savage when we make them that way. But now it may mean my life. And even if I were to die now, it wouldn't end there. Chief Yellowhawk would see to that. More bloodshed, more enmity, less understanding. You, you didn't kill this man, Daly, did you? Oh, no, Amy, no. I hated him because he made trouble with the Indians, but I didn't kill him. Then they can't convict you. Well, I'm sure there's certain people who are going to try very hard. Do you have a good lawyer? As good as can be had in these parts, but I'm counting more on men like Bat Masterson and Wyatt Earp to see that I get a fair trial. They believe in the law, Amy, and that's important. That's all we ask for, a fair trial. I like the way you said we. I'll sleep better now. Dad, I'm, I'm staying over at the hotel. I'll come see you in the morning. 
And please don't worry about anything. Good night, Amy. Good night, Dad. time just wasting time and I say sit down I say Lynch Merrick oh. certainly he gets what he deserves <laughs> order order in the court <laughs> sit down Sutton or you'll sit out this trial in jail We're here to see that justice gets done legal-like. Justice? Hanging a man because he's a friend of the Indians? We ain't hanged anybody yet. I know you came a long way to be with your father, Miss Merrick. But one more word out of you, and I'll have to hold you in contempt of court. You couldn't hold me long enough to match the contempt I have for this court. <laughs> Court's in session. From your knowledge, Marshal, were Amos Merrick's relations with the deceased Colonel Daly friendly or unfriendly? It's no secret he didn't like Daly. Daly was always stirring up trouble with the Indians to make his own army record look good. Now, Mr. Fry, as a cattleman and leading citizen of Dodge City, you knew Amos Merrick. Did you ever hear him threaten the life of Colonel Daly? Yes, he said Kansas would be better off without Daly. Thank you, Mr. Fry. When you made peace with the tribes, Mr. Merrick, did the terms of that peace include the granting of an Indian reserve in the grass country outside of Dodge City? Yes. The big cattlemen don't want that pasture land fenced in. Your name is Clay Bennett? Yes, sir. You were in Fort Dodge on the night of the murder? Yes, sir. Tell us what you saw. I was standing near the stable. I saw a man fire a gun through Colonel Daly's window. Who was that man? Him, Amos Merrick. That's a lie. That'll do it, Matt. Yellowhawk said if Merrick dies, many will die. He said you'd be the first. Then you positively identify the defendant as the man you saw shoot and kill Colonel Daly? Yes, sir. The prosecution rests. <laughs> He's guilty. Old man Merrick's guilty. Uh, Agnes, day after tomorrow, 12 o'clock noon in Hayes City. Looks like Clay Bennett's heading for the tall timber. So would you, Mitch, if it was your say-so that got Merrick convicted. Uh, all right, stand aside. Maybe dangerous here in Dodge, so you'll be taken to Hayes City tomorrow morning. Then it's up to you to stop the Indians. Go to Yellowhawk. Make him understand the futility of fighting. Many lives depend on it. I'll do what I can, Mr. Murray. Mr. Masterson. Sorry, ma'am. It's been a pretty rough day for you. You've come a long way to see Dodge City at its worst. I thought if I were here, I could do something. But I feel so helpless. You've done a lot just being here. You will help him, won't you? Father's convicted of murder, ma'am. But he isn't guilty. You know he isn't. The jury thought so. If his Indian friends go on the war path because of him, a lot of innocent people are going to die. Is it your own life you're worried about? Among other things. Out here, Miss Merrick, a man in my boots is one of three things. Hard, fast, or dead. to come here. 
when you have failed to protect your white brother. News travels fast. All Indian nations know, Kiowa, Comanche, Cheyenne. All await the signal. Then we take him to our land. If you try to take him, the soldiers will come. And the wars will begin all over again. If he dies, the wars begin just the same. He was tried by his own people in a white man's court. It's not for the red man to change that. A white man's court believed a white man's lies. Bennett's? Yes. This man was at the river many miles from Fort Dodge when the white colonel died. Can you prove that? Tell him what you saw. The man called Bennett. You saw Bennett there? At the same time he claims to have seen the killing at Fort Dodge? It is the truth. Then why didn't you come to the trial and say so? Would the white man listen to the words of the red man when Amos Merrick is brother to red man? Maybe I can prove Bennett was lying. But you must promise to stay away from our villages, and not interfere. That's the will of Amos Merrick. We will do as our brother asks and not come to your villages. The Indian nations will not make war so long as Amos Merrick lives, and you will live no longer. started now, as soon as your prisoner is ready. The prisoner's coming out now. Bring him out, Wyatt. Give him to us, Wyatt, and save yourself a trip. Yeah, let's yeah. see him, Wyatt. Bring him on out. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's yeah. see him, Wyatt. Anybody got an idea of doing something about it? Take my word, try it, and you'll never do anything else for a long time. All right, Virgil. I'm sorry, miss. It's time to say goodbye now. No, I'm going with you, please. Too many things might go wrong. Your father's friends, the Indians and the whites, might try to stop us. Or his enemies might try to lynch him. Either way, we've got a fight on our hands. I don't care. I'm going. Virgil. Goodbye, Amy. Hello, Wyatt. Any luck, Matt? No, nobody seems to know where Bennett's gone. Or if they do, they're not telling. I shouldn't tell you this, Bat, because it's about Doc Holliday. What about him? Bat, you can't afford to shoot it out with Doc. Not now. I know you don't care about yourself, but you're Merrick's last chance. Well, I've steered clear of him through the trial. I guess I can wait 36 hours more. How does he figure into this? Clay Bennett owes Doc $3,000. Lost it in the faro game. So? Well, do you think Doc Holliday's going to let him skip town, owe him $3,000? without knowing where he was going? Thanks, Wyatt. Dad. Do as they say. Stay here. kept their word, kept out of it, and waited for Masterson to keep his. Waited, and watched, and made ready. Sheriff, or that you didn't want to remember. I'd like to talk to you, Doc. There's nothing to talk about. Why, it's gone. There's no one here to protect you now. <laughs> Nor are you. That's too bad. I was having a run of luck. Now I have to spoil it. 
You want it here, outside? Oh, I'm not going to draw against you, Doc. Not now, anyway. Not even if I reach for my guns back? Well, I'd try not to. Maybe I couldn't help myself. Thing like that might be pure reflex. You're a doctor. You know about reflexes? Mm-hmm. I know about nerve, too, and I think you've lost yours, Masterson. <laughs> Ever play drop the handkerchief, Sheriff? See, I drop it, and then I go for my guns. How are your reflexes now? <laughs> <laughs> Said I want to talk to you, Doc. It must be important for you to pass a chance like that. I'm looking for Clay Bennett. You think I know where he is? With him owing you three thousand dollars, yes. <laughs> so that's it. Bennett's half owner of five thousand head of cattle pastured outside of town. That's right. And he put up part of his share of security. Security? <laughs> See for yourself. You don't care where Bennett's gone? Well, not unless that herd went with him. You're not even curious? Only for one reason. Why are you curious? Maybe Bennett lied at Merrick's trial. Maybe. I wouldn't know why, and I care less. Merrick has enemies, big enemies. Clay has friends, big friends. The cattlemen. Yeah. I know it's a long trail up from Texas. Takes plenty of pounds off the beef. I also know that those boys need that grassland in the spring to fatten up their herds before they ship them to Abilene in the fall. Still bring $20 a head more that way. So since I got an interest in a big herd, I'll stop Merrick or anyone else giving the land back to the Indians. Bennett's already stopped him. Not with bullets, but with words. I'm curiously unmoved by all You'll of this. You'll be moved if the Indians attack. <laughs> We're all gonna die someday, Masterson. It's only a question of time. I say more power to the cattlemen. The more money those saddle traps make, the more I take away from them at cards. Black ace. My lucky card. You're a sick man, Doc. Sick all the way through. Then keep away from me, Masterson, if you don't want to catch something fatal. I don't know where Bennett is. You'd be the last man I'd tell if I did. Kind of glad you didn't help me, Doc. I'd hate to owe you a favor. Hold it, Miss Merrick. Aren't you heading the wrong way? I wanted to see what you'd found out from Doc Holliday. They told me you were talking to him. You didn't feel like talking. Then let me talk to him. I don't think you'd better, Miss Merrick. I believe I heard my name mentioned. You are Doc Holliday, aren't you? Can I be a service? Stay out of this, Doc. Really, Sheriff, you're overstepping your authority. And being terribly rude. If this uncouth character is annoying you, Miss, it'd be my pleasure to remove him. Don't stake too much on my promise, Doc. He's poisoned, Miss Merrick. He's obviously the first gentleman I've met since coming to Dodge City. Thank you, Miss. They'll let you out, Masterson. Yes, I feel out of place in such high society. They say you know something that can help my father. Well, as much as I dislike Masters and Miss Merrick, I did tell him the truth. However, if I were Clay Bennett and I were married to a beautiful woman, that's where I'd be now. Where? Well, Bennett's wife is a singer at the Red Front Saloon in Quilari. She calls herself Dallas Corey. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Cute little filly, Doc. You thinking of slapping a brand on her? You have an unfortunate choice of words, Mr. Fry. It might be better you didn't speak of the lady at all. I'm sorry, Doc. I apologize. I didn't understand. No, you wouldn't. 
who could understand the scent of lilac in the stench of Dodge City. Well, if you'll forget what I said, Doc, I, I'd like to talk over a little business proposition with you. My business is gambling. Well, sir, what I have to offer is something of a gamble. You'll have to kill Bat Masterson one of these days. I'm willing to bet I can pick the day. These are my business hours, Mr. Fry. See me in my office. You sure you want these uh, innocent bystanders listening? They're my men. What's it worth to you to see Masterson dead? Raise 50. You have your own gunslingers. If you're so anxious to get rid of Masterson, you know where he is. Go get him. Well, I'm a businessman. I deal in cattle and nothing else. My men aren't killers. And I am? Is that it? Well, there's no one faster with a gun than you, and you know it. Except maybe Masterson. Of course, it can't be proved until I kill him. Or vice versa. I have to hate real hard when I shoot a man, Fry. Otherwise, I begin to think about things. Maybe about his girl, or his wife, or his children. Or maybe about the fellows he owes money to. I find myself uh, sympathizing. My hand isn't steady. My conscience becomes a, a devil that rides my shoulders and obscures my aim. And it's most difficult to hate when you're making money. I'm offering you a business proposition, Doc, and all you're giving me is words. Perhaps those words are beyond your comprehension. Raise. Haiti Masterson is one of the few pleasures left to me, Fry. I'd like to do it in my time when it pleases me. Not when it happens to please someone else. I see what you're up to now, Doc. You're bargaining. Raising the ante. You men have lost enough. Yeah, you're right. Let's all go over to the hotel where we can talk straight. Maybe I can interest you in a little game where nobody loses. But Masterson... Hardly good day's work, gentlemen. Your hotel, Mr. Fry. We'd like to bet $5,000 you won't kill Masterson in the next 36 hours. Happens that I do, we lose. The money's yours. 36 hours. It's an odd coincidence. That's exactly how long America has to live. Unless Masterson can clear him. Air in hotel rooms always has a foul smell. Don't bet, gentlemen. I don't kill for profit. But on the other hand, I'd just as soon kill Masterson for nothing. So that disposes of the ethics. Then what's stopping you? Call it a superstition. Every gambler has one. To me, killing's a jinx. Never fails to break a winning streak. And I'm having one. But win or lose, if I kill a man, it's for personal reasons. And personally, I don't like any of you any more than I like Masterson. It didn't work, Charlie. No, with this will. I'm taking some men from each of your outfits for a vigilante committee. We're going to make sure that Merrick's dead before he gets to Hay City. Well, you win, Miss Merrick. Clay Bennett's in Quillary, I'll find him. Something sure must have come over Doc when he saw you. He was very helpful. You worked a miracle then. Looking at you, of course, I could even understand Doc for the first time. Where is Quillary? On the way to Hayes City. In the right direction, anyway. Take me along. Take me with you. I'm trying to beat the clock, ma'am. But you can't leave me here not knowing. I'm sorry.
Hello, Masterson. I can see by your face this is a pleasant surprise. What are you doing here? You knew I had to come. And since you refused to escort the lady, it became my pleasure. By strange coincidence, I just happened to be going the same way. As far as I'm concerned, Doc, you can go to Colary or any other place, but not with me. Can't let you go alone, Sheriff. We had some unfinished business. Quiet. What do they mean? You'll have to ask him, Miss Merrick. He's the big uh, Indian scout. They say a large party of riders is gathering at Ransom Pass. That's on the trail a coach is taking to Hayes City. May mean an attempt to rescue your father. Or to lynch him. What can we do? Ransom Pass is this side of Quillary. We may be able to get there before the coach does. Then we're coming along, with or without your permission. I've got a surprise for you, Doc. Now I want you to come. You're good with a gun and I can use you. We'll settle our dispute later. Take your positions.
join the others? Pat and Doc Holliday together? Virgil's hurt, Doc. I don't know where you came from. Let's find out where they came from first. Mitch Connors. One of the men who wanted to lynch Merrick. Keep your hand pressed, Tim. You did a fine job, Doc. Just patchwork. Enough to hold you together till we get to Kolari. You haven't forgotten how to be a doctor, have you? Some things a man doesn't forget. Try as he may. Thanks. Stay with me. The road's cleared, Marshal. Better get your prisoner in the coach. We're ready to move. I'll go on ahead. May run into Bennett and Quillary. We'll be passing through a few hours after sundown. Let's hope you found him by then. I'm sticking with the coach as far as Quillary until Virgil's out of danger. No one's out of danger until this trip's over. I'll take the girl with me. Be safer that way. Don't think you're losing me, Sheriff. I'll catch up with you. I want to make sure you don't get yourself killed by someone else. Sure, Clay Bennett's here? No, but if we can't find Clay, maybe we can keep Masterson from looking. Why'd you have to come back, Clay? Ain't I had enough trouble with you? Man's got a right to see his wife anytime he wants. I thought I was rid of you. I was doing good in this town. I was something. You're my wife. So I'm back to nothing. Well, I won't lie for you. I won't cover up for you. I think you'd better, Mrs. Bennett, just this once. Help you hang an innocent man? It's him or us. Well, it ain't me. I'll talk to Masterson. You treat her too good, Clay. I'll take care of her and Masterson, too. You didn't take such good care of yourself. Lighten out like a scared jackrabbit from the trial. You act guilty, people get to think. But I ain't guilty, Charlie. Don't forget who is. I forgot it, Clay. You'd better. I didn't mean it like that, Charlie. Always prided myself on being a judge of men. I'd sure take it hard if you disappointed me. Charlie. There's Masterson now. He's got the girl with him. You'll have a chance to talk to Masterson, Mrs. Bennett, right here in this room. And I'm going to give you a chance to justify my faith in you, Clay. You'll be in that closet with this. I won't let you down, Charlie. You can't afford to. The boys will be downstairs and outside this building. If Masterson comes out of this room standing up, he won't leave the saloon that way, and neither will you. Or her. Doc was right. Town's full of Bennett's friends. Clay must be in there. What are you going to do? If he was telling the truth, I'll have no trouble talking to him. This one time, I want trouble. He must have lied. My father's innocent, or you wouldn't be risking your life to prove it. Well, let's hope we can. I know how you feel about your father, Amy. It's hard for you to be realistic. Haven't you ever loved anyone that much? Enough to be unrealistic? Yeah, once. Who was she? Dance hall girl, Sweetwater, Texas. There was an army sergeant. Uh, the jealous kind. Uh, told me to keep away from her, but I, I didn't. I broke in one night while we were together. And, well, she jumped between us just as he fired. She died. First man I ever killed. I'm sorry. Bad. Is, is that really a name, Bat? <laughs> William Barclay Masterson, says in the family Bible. <laughs> when I was a kid, we, we lived by a big cave that was full of bats. 
I used to go target practicing there. Folks used to say nobody could ever hit a crazy zigzagging bat on the wing. So I, I had to try. Kept trying. Kept trying till I could. Then they called me the boy who shot the bats. Finally shook down to just bat. Lock the door and don't let anybody else in. Be careful, Bat. Masterson's coming out of the hotel and headed this way. Clay, you never get more than one shot at Masterson. idea where I could find Dallas, Corey? She's upstairs. Thanks. You're a long way from home, Sheriff. You too, Charlie. Nice to see so many familiar faces in the crowd. Looks like the Dodge City Jail on Saturday night. <laughs> well, me and some of the boys are on our way to Hay City to take in the hanging. Uh, when that stagecoach passes through here in a few minutes, Charlie, you'll uh, sort of cool the boys off, won't you? Just in case they get ideas. Oh, they ain't have to, Bat. Not with Wyatt Earp and Doc Holliday aboard. Funny you should say that. Doc didn't get aboard a ransom pass. See you around. Find Joe Mann and tell him to meet me in back of the hotel. All right. Come in. Dallas Corey? Yes? Mrs. Clay Bennett? <laughs> Don't remind me. My name is Bat Masterson. Is it? Yeah, I'm looking for Clay. Well, you missed him. He was here, but he headed back to Dodge City or someplace. Ah, uh, that's too bad. He was in kind of a jam. I uh, hoped I could help him out of it. Help him? Yeah. Well, I guess I'll have to uh, wait until I get back to Dodge. Thanks. There's a derringer under this hat, mister. You're covered. Don't come out all at once. Let's see your hands first. Throw it over here. All right, all the way. He bluffed you. I don't care. I'm glad he did. I'm no killer, Bat. Maybe not. But the way that curtain was shaking, well, <laughs> I just hate to make a sudden move when a nervous man has a gun on me. Charlie Fry's gun at that. For once in your life, tell the truth. Might be your last chance. It was Fry's idea. Why? He's out to stop Merrick's plan to give land to the Indians. You must have guessed it by now. It was Fry killed Daly. Fry's waiting downstairs. Yeah, I know it. He said if Clay didn't get you, him and the boys would. Said he'd kill all of us. You, me, her. He might do it, too. Got plenty of men. Pretty well covered outside, too. You've got to get me out of this bat. He'll, he'll kill me. Now, that would be a real loss to the world. I'll do anything you say. There's only one way out of it. What is it? Well, it looks like uh, I'll have to kill you. tried to shoot me in the back. He was hiding behind those curtains. The lady saw it. You killed him! It was self-defense. He still got the gun in his hand. You see it, don't you? Sure. Sure, I see it. Self-defense. How about the rest of you? You see it? Yeah, I see it. Sure, it was self-defense, Bat. All right, I'll clear out of here. And send up the coroner. I'm taking the body back to Dodge City with me. Too bad for you, Bat. What do you mean? Looks like you killed your own star witness. 
Now you'll never know if Clay was lying. I'm wasting my talents as a singer. I should have been a dramatic actress. <laughs> Don't touch him. Now's our chance. They're all downstairs. Take a look at Merrick. On your feet, Clay. Here. That man ain't dead. No, but you will be if you don't cooperate. Of course, you're anything at all. Anything to say. All right, Clay. Let's move. Where's Masterson? No need to wait on him, Marshal. Masterson's heading back to Dodge City with Clay Bennett. Then he did find him. But if Bat talked to Bennett, why is he going back? Bat didn't have a chance to talk to him, ma'am. He killed him. He what? Yes, ma'am, self-defense. Too bad he had to do it. Now nothing can hold up the hanging. Well, I guess Bat did what he had to do. Sorry, Merrick. We better get started. We can't go like this. But it has, Amy. something it wants to shoot back. It's generally because you don't have much choice. There must have been another way. And it was my father's last hope. And that killed him. Don't torture yourself. All this, it'll seem like a bad dream someday. But you don't belong in it. There's nothing more you can do now. So you've got to get away, far away. And I'll go with you. If you'll let me. You? I've come this far because you needed me. Now I know that I need you too. No, Doc. No, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know you felt that way. And even if I felt anything more than gratitude, I couldn't. Of course you couldn't. Why should you tie yourself to a dying man? I was wrong. I don't need anybody. I never have. Doc, please, it isn't that. Then what is it? Masterson? back for the women. Wouldn't be safe to leave them behind. We'd make better time without them. Get up there and stay put. Keep quiet. I'll get you later. me for. You'll see when you get there, Joe. Every time Fry wants me, it's trouble. Why can't he talk to me regularly? Why am back off the hotel? You're lucky he even talks to you at all after the way you cold decked him back in Dodge. I'd even say you was lucky you got out of that game with your skin. I've made it up to Mr. Fry. I've done him favors since that time. You'll keep on doing him, Joe. All right. All right, I, I can say what's on my mind, can't I? Sure. As long as you keep walking towards that hotel at the same time.
tries not to get me, is he? I haven't done anything. Ask him. Hello, Joe. Hello, Fry. You can go now, Tyler. Joe and I have private business. You aren't mad about something, Mr. Fry? That depends upon the answer you give me. Answer? You've been keeping in practice, Joe? You know better, Mr. Fry. I haven't dealt a crooked game since Dodge. Perhaps. It's the truth, I swear it. Well, that's too bad. I'd be willing to forget that little game in Dodge and pay you $500 besides. $500? All you've got to do is win from Doc Holliday. Mr. Fry, I'm not crazy. No, but you're good, Joe. The best I've ever seen. I don't think even Holliday can tell how you're dealing. No. No, he, he'd kill me. My boys will be there to see that he doesn't. You just get Holiday started on a losing streak. I don't think it'd be too much trouble. Doc's got other things on his mind. You sure your boys be around? I guarantee it. I'd get quite a reputation at that. Beating Holiday. Sure, Joe. You'd be a big man. That is, if you haven't lost the old touch. When I'm playing, these don't shake. Good. You get the game started, and I'll steer Holiday into it. What do we drink to now, Doc? Let's not drink to anything. Let's just drink. Looks like I guess wrong about you and Masterson. What do you mean? Never thought you could keep from killing him this long. I told you once, mister, I got a superstition. I've been riding a winning streak of cards, and I won't quit if I can help it. You mean if you lost, there'd be nothing to stop you? Not if a man crossed me, Masterson, or anyone else. I wonder if my luck has changed. Deal me in. Well, I guess I'll pay my respects to the widow. Wait outside. Come in. Where's the body? And where are you going? Well, the coroner took the body. Masterson's coming back for me in a few minutes. I aim to see that Clay gets a decent burial. Never thought you'd take it so hard. I hated him. But how would it look if I didn't take it hard? You're a smart girl, Dallas. I like smart girls. But I don't think I'd leave town right now, not with Masterson. Why not? That doesn't give up so easy. You might let something slip. Why take a chance? Stay till after the hanging. Oh, I won't talk, Charlie. I know it. If Clay had your nerve, he'd be alive right now. But I'd take it kind of hard if you didn't do as I said. Well, well. Looks like we have a historic landmark. The bullet that Bat Masterson used to shut Clay Bennett's mouth. I think I'll keep this as a souvenir. A lucky bullet for you, Charlie. Went in kind of hard. Must have hit him right between the eyes. Yeah, yeah, between the eyes. It wasn't pretty. You won't be either, Dallas, if you try to cross me. Bad, I, I feel like such a fool. Doesn't think how Fry is gonna feel. I should have known you wouldn't kill Bennett. Well, he's one dead man who's still got a tale to tell. Wait. Wait here. Keep out of sight. I've got to get Dallas out of there. <laughs> Aren't you even going to say hello, Doc? After all we've been to each other, I've had about all I can take of you, Masterson. <laughs> Now I feel better. Hope you win. Pray I win. Meaning what? I haven't forgotten our date. Only thing stops me from keeping it now is I can't quit when I'm ahead. When you're ready to cash in, look me up. 
Save yourself some trouble, Pat. Dallas ain't going back to Dodge City. Changed her mind. That's the lady's privilege. But I'll hear it from her. Doc's throwing money around like it's going out of style. Yeah? He can't keep winning that way. Maybe he don't want to win. Gage, you and Sutton and five of the best gun hands stay with me. Tyler, you take the rest of the men and go on ahead. I want to make sure Masterson really does go back to Dodge City just in case things go wrong in that card game. Nice night for a funeral. Eh? Oh, it's you, Mr. Fry. Yes, it is. Nice night. Poor old Clay. Where'd Masterson hit him? Where'd you hit him, you say? Mm -hmm. Right in the heart. Killed him instant. I guess Masterson's even better with a gun than they say. Imagine hitting a man in the heart and between the eyes with the same bullet. Now, what do you mean by that? I mean, I think I ought to have a look in that coffin, mister. Oh, no, sir. That's against the law. You, you can't do that. Come on, mister. Climb down. But who, who'll hold the horses? Come on, quit stalling. All right, sir. If you want me to come down, you've got to help me. Yes, sir. Just back up a step, because I... Come on, mister. I'm coming. Yes, sir. Thank What can I do, Bat? Nothing now. You'll just have to play along with Fry. I'll pick you up later. Where's the hearse? Bat, I saw them. For I know you tricked him. When you go to the livery stable to get your horse, he'll be waiting for you. That's where I've got Bennett. I better get over there. Bat, he has six men with him. He'll kill you. You've got to get someone to help you. How? There's nobody in this town I can trust. Dog. This is everything I got left in the world, except my guns, horse, and saddle. card wins. Sorry, Doc. You coming back, Doc? I'm not sure. Brian's six men are waiting at the livery stable to kill Bat. He's all alone, Doc. You gotta go after him. That's what I had in mind, anyway.
know what Wyatt meant. Thanks, Doc. Oh, don't thank me. After all, how would it look if I needed half the town to help me kill Bat Masterson? I had my reputation to consider. That's not the real reason, Doc. No. I had very little to offer the girl. A couple of years at the most. So I thought I'd leave her something to remember me by. You. Well, thanks. We made it. Guess I'll be heading back to the post. Thanks, Lieutenant. How are you, Charlie? You're in plenty of time for the hanging. Be 30 minutes yet. If we wait that long, it won't be Merrick who will hang. Why? Bennett talked. Masterson's on his way. But it wouldn't be much of a trick to get this crowd to take over. Tell the others. You men help me get this crowd started. Get Merrick out of jail and hang him before Masterson gets here. You men talk it up when I get started. Let's bring him out of jail now and string him up. Why should we wait another half hour? What do you say? What's Merrick ever meant to you? Let's go! Let's go! who tries to take Merrick out of here won't live to see him hang. Come on, let's get it over with. Get these horses out of here. That, that I'm going to it. No, you're not. You're going in there and you're staying in there.
We're starting back now. Are you ready? Yeah. Where's Doc? He isn't coming. He said to tell you he's gone off looking for a card game. Says he feels lucky again. <laughs> we wanted to thank him. Well, we could thank him later, Amy. Better not. Doc says he can't afford to have you for a friend, Bat. Says you've cost him a fortune already. returned, peace returned with him to the tribes of Kansas. Doc Holliday drifted with his luck until it ran out. Bat Masterson laid down his guns and rode east to become a famous newspaper man. But out west, they'll always...